Hey everyone, welcome to the video. I got this package back from PSA through a third-party submitter. I sent this in in about February, and it is currently early June, so about four months door to door for this. Let's see what we got. Okay, gotta be honest, I'm not totally sure I remember what I sent into this order. I know there's some some Seattle cards, a lot of Subird. So let's see what we got. Okay, first up, Matty Beneers, Rookie Dazzlers. Um, a lot of these were ones that were pre-screened, so I have decently high hopes. So let's see what we got. Nine. That's still a nice looking card. I like the blue, like the color match with the jersey. Like so 2007 Sue Bird. I think this one was not recommended for grading, but I, I had them send anything they thought would get an eight or higher. So let's see, 2007. Ooh, PSA 10. This pr was probably one of the ones that they did recommend for grading. I couldn't find the, the spreadsheet that I had made. It's an awesome hit. Well, all of these Rittenhouse cards, these are WNBA cards from the early days, are pretty hard to get in high grade. Next up, 2017 Rittenhouse Superbird. Another 10. Awesome. Wow, this is already way better than I expected. Uh, Swin Cash, this is 2010. Oh, that's right, this is a, a Swin Cash duel with Superbird and another 10. Wow. Did not expect this. Next up, I believe this one's also another duel with uh, Sue Bird. This one with Katie Douglas, 2009. You say nine. There is a little bit of a dinged corner um, on this one, I believe. And it's kind of hard to tell, but that corner right there on the bottom left is a little dinged. Okay, this next one, uh, it's one of the thicker cards, so I don't expect that high grade from it. So this is a authentic jersey card worn in the 2005 all-star game from super Bird. so this is 2006 this one got a 10 wow i've never seen one of these sticker cards get a 10 in anything that i've submitted before crazy i wonder what happened. what's going on with psa this next one 2021 i don't remember if this is a parallel or not but it's the white screen another 10 Okay, so what I'm learning is that the pre-screening that they do at God Baseball Cards is pretty, pretty good. This next one, Express Lane. So this is a um, insert in 2019 Panini. This is actually the first year that Panini did bas uh, women's basketball cards. This one's a nine. I'm not quite sure I see what's wrong with it, but maybe a little off center left or right. Okay, next up, 2018. WNBA cards. I guess I'll let this iron go by. Another 10. Wow. The gem rate on these is crazy. Okay, next, up, next up, Emily Marismo. French Open. Current tournament director and former champion. You say nine. So this is part of the PC I'm putting together of... Um, Grand Slam champions. Next up, this is a image variation of a Felix Fernandez. This is 2019. It should be in the the throwback or the it's like the MLB equivalent of reverse retro. That one got a 10. Awesome. I love these jerseys. Next up, this is a Kyle Seeger rookie. And this is the um, the Diamond Anniversary, so 2011 Diamond Anniversary. And this one got a 10. Awesome. And just for reference, when I when I sent in um, cards for pre-screening in this order, they weeded out about, about half of them. So they're definitely doing their due diligence at God Baseball Cards. And when I did this, um, pre-screening was free, but they, they added a fee for reject cards recently. 
Next one, this is another one from that same series. I forget who's on the front of this. I think it's, um, I think Ichiro's on the front of it, maybe Felix too. Let's see. Yep, Ichiro and Felix, PSA 9. It's probably some surface thing that didn't get caught. Okay, a couple more of the Super cards, looks like. This one is 2008. I'm guessing I can already see that there's some corner issues on this one. Uh, this is 2008. Ooh. Gem Mint 10. Maybe they, there was some, there's just lower quality standards in some of these sets. So, I can say his understanding of that, but crazy that we've got so many gems on this one. Okay, next up, 2015 written house. Eight. Okay, this is definitely one of the ones that was rejected in the pre-screen. I, I think there's some surface issues on the front. Yeah, there's a couple Prince Mars and such. Okay, two more. One more Super Bird card. 2006 written house. So that's the same. Uh, this is the same box that you would get one of these jersey cards in. And this one got an eight also. And then uh, finally, the last one is, uh, it's a pretty rare card, and it's one that definitely was not in that great of shape. You can see the chipping on the back here. I'm not sure how well you can see it. But it's a redemption that you got at the 2001 All-Star Games, and it's technically an Ichiro rookie card. Uh, the pop report's pretty low on these. I'm guessing you'll get like a seven or something. Oh, I got an eight. It presents really well from the front, but there's quite a bit of chipping on the back. Anyway, overall really happy with this order. Kind of wish it came a little bit, came back a little sooner, but can't be upset about the gems on these. Thanks for watching.